Hey guys, welcome back to Sports Republic Reviews, where we give you all the information you need to buy the right product first time. So today we're going to look at the difference between the Armadillo 4.0 and the Teco glove. So if you look at them quite quickly, you'd think that there's probably no difference between the two other than the branding. And that's where you're probably wrong. Let's have a look why the Teco exists and uh, how it is different to the Armadillo. Let's go. Right, so on the left is the Armadillo 4.0. You can check out a video we did reviewing this up here, but I'm gonna have a quick look at it and then we can compare it to the Teco. So the, the Armadillo 4.0, really, really popular, lots of protection around it and, and really nice lightweight. Um, but some of the international players are looking for something even lighter and that's where the techos come in so um, i'll point out a couple of little differences but i think let's have a look at the techo first and then i'll point the differences out so you can see the techo is pretty similar but if you look closely you'll notice there's actually a lot less material used on this um, and that's going to obviously drop the drop the weight of the product and also we know that majority of the players out there are looking for open palm. So the Armadillo open palm is very generous. There's, there's, there's a, a very big surface area where your, where your hand is able to, or the palm of your hand is able to touch the stick. With a Teco, it's even bigger. So if you have a look, we've got a really, really wide area compared to the Armadillo uh, that does sort of come in on the side uh, and that's, it's giving you extra protection, which is great, um, but it sometimes does encroach on on your uh, on the surface area of your palm in contact with a stick. So the Teco is really cool there. It's got a really large surface area where your where your stick and your hand come in contact, and the gloves not or no material on the glove is getting in the way. So that's great for feedback, which is what everyone's looking for. Um, you'll also notice the strap is slightly different. So this is a really really lightweight strap on the Teco. They've taken away all the sort of frills, um, just made this elastic with some Velcro, just to make sure that this is as light and comfortable as possible. The, um, the Armadillo, I find a little bit more comfortable because it's got this neoprene here with some extra padding inside. So you get a little bit extra protection and a nice wrap around comfortable Velcro strap. So you can see the Teco has really just sort of made it like very functional. Um, and to reduce that weight and, and, and give you performance. The, uh, the, knuckle, the, the knuckle protection with this hard sort of shell is, is very similar between the two. The knuckle protection is also uh, identical. We just we notice a slight difference on the thumb where we've got a double segment protection here on the uh, Armadillo 4.0 where the Teco is a little bit shorter, one really big shell. Um, that will work at really sort of protecting this knuckle over here, but you're still getting full freedom of movement with the thumb. So yeah, that uh, it's uh, so, some small differences between the two gloves, but actually, if you once you put them on, you'll notice that there's actually um, it does make a difference. Um, and you know, some of the top international players are, are really demanding on their products, and they want they want certain products to be as light as possible, as minimalist as possible, but obviously still give them the protection they need. So, yeah, you know, those are the sort of main differences you're going to find between the Armadillo 4.0, super popular glove. Um, we've got the Teco as well, which is a, a sort of a minimalist version of it, sort of. Gives you all the protection you need, nice and light, and uh, obviously looks really cool. So yeah, that's the difference between the Armadillo 4.0 and the Teco, available on the, the online shop. Please like, please subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you on our next review.